Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to fix your iPhone if for some reason AirDrop isn't working. Now, as most of you know, AirDrop is the wireless transfer method between an iPhone and other Apple products. You can easily send whatever, you guys already know this. But the main thing to keep in mind is that AirDrop requires a Wi-Fi connection and a Bluetooth connection. So if you're not able to see any of your Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connections on this device or other devices, you want to make sure those things are enabled within the settings app in order for you to actually utilize it. So what this looks like is essentially going into your iPhone just like this. You wanna swipe down from the right side and you want to make sure these two things are enabled. As long as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are enabled, you're pretty much set. But you also, at the same time, want to hold down or force touch on this little option right here. And you want to make sure this airdrop signal, this little airdrop icon is actually on. But you also wanna make sure that the settings are set to exactly whatever situation you're in right now. So AirDrop, right now I have it set for contacts only. So who's ever in my contacts, those are the only people who can AirDrop me. Now let's say I have someone else I've just never met or who's not in my contacts and I want to send this stuff over to them. Well, you're going to have to go ahead and turn the settings over into basically everyone can send you anything. So in order to do this, what you want to do is you want to click on it. Now you can turn the receiving off, but I don't know why you want to do that if you're watching this. You you want to set it to everyone. So if you want anyone being able to airdrop you, then that's exactly what you set it off. Now let's say you do that and they're still not able to send you anything. Well, you want to make sure that the specific file that they're sending over is applicable onto your specific device. So let's say they're able to send it to you. You get the little setting icon, but it, then it just goes away and doesn't open anything. Well, typically all these files are saved into your directory within your files. So essentially what you want to do is you want to open up your files app and you want to go into the specific folder that you know all your stuff gets signed into. So essentially, sometimes it's your downloads folder or whatever. So if they're sending you a file that's maybe like a Photoshop file or something like that, those are going to be sent into your files app. So you want to go into your files app, locate that specific file in your files app, and then you'll essentially be able to see it from there. So there's not really a crazy amount of stuff you can do at that point. However, there are times where if somebody's sending you a massive file, let's say it's you know more than one gigabyte, sometimes these things take a lot of bandwidth but on top of that you're going to have to make sure that the connection that you have is super stable if you have a very faulty connection it's just going to go you know intermittent it's not going to be as fast and it's going to take a very long time for it to eventually go through so what you want to do is make sure that the file that they're sending you you know if it's a big file that you have a solid connection it may take more than one attempt but typically at this point you should be good to go if your airdrop is still not working i would recommend updating your iphone so go into your settings app you want to go down to general, you want to click software update, and you want to update your device to the most recent version of software that your device supports. If you're on a very outdated version of, you know, iOS, then sometimes your device isn't going to work for AirDrop. So you want to make sure you're up to date and you should be good to go for the most part. If you're still having issues, contact Apple and they'll be able to fix it for you. So that's essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So thank you so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.